just got back from picking up Marie at work. Picking up Marie, dropping her off in the morning. Um, just shut the window. The depression's kicking in again. Um, this morning just woke up in I just feel like no music no music satisfies you and yeah just feel rubbish not good um, and with being having a lot of uh, heightened emotions over the last couple of days over bits and bobs um, over angry, uh, being upset, uh, thinking about things that the kids have missed. Um, you know, they missed my uh, my granny died. They missed ever seeing her living room with all the Christmas stuff. Um, it's quite saddening, and to go into my mum's place into what they she calls her attic room. And she's given us a tree and she gets out all these teddies that sing and everything and just oh it's emotional. Um stress of stuff that's getting on in life, just standard stuff, just annoying. But anyway <clears throat> my, when I got my car back, the stereo didn't work. Um it needed the code and I lost the code and then just Monday night, uh, about 10 o'clock, I thought I'm going to have to go to Ford and ask them to get the code for my radio. Um, so I looked online how to get a radio, the code for uh, the CD player uh, in a Ford and it came with a website where you can enter your serial code of your radio and it will give you the PIN code for free. Oh, well, that's cool. How do I get the serial serial code? It said push one and hold one and six on the on the radio, and it will come up on the screen. Well, I did that. Didn't bloody work. Next thing, buy these keys, stick them in the slots, pull the radio out. Oh great! I'll buy some keys. They're only cheap, but I've got to wait. I've got work tomorrow, and I want a bit of music while I'm on my way to work. Then. Um, Someone was using uh, steak knives instead of the keys because the keys are basically like little mini steak knives. So I went out there with two steak knives and got the radio out. I read the serial code, um, entered it on the website, said it would give me the pin in 21 hours unless I pay straight away. I thought, oh, I just want it to work tomorrow. So I went on the next website that said it would give it for free, and I thought, well, who knows, give it a go. It would be, be strange if I get it straight away, considering, you know. The, the previous website. Anyway, I entered the serial number. Give me the code straight away. I thought, oh, okay, I'm a bit doubtful whether this is going to work or not. Entered the code and bang, radio comes on. Awesome. Are you having some breakfast, Rosie? So, um, got my radio working for free without going to forward. So that was a that's all right. Uh, I wrote a list of things that I wanted to just, yeah. Uh, I will talk about the comments I've been on my videos and bits and bobs. Um, what have I been up? Two uh, built hamster cages, new ones. What a nightmare! Hamsters are a nightmare. I fixed a few problems, made them new boxes. Bought massive running wheels to put in for them. And it was all awesome. And they had towers that I built them out of wood that sat on the sawdust. But of course, they dug under the legs. For some reason, the hamsters like to dig under the legs. They like to dig under stuff. So they dig under the legs. And the whole set of towers, the, the, the platforms I built, went down and down and down and down. But of course, I've set the water bowl to come in between the layers of the tower. But they've brought the tower down, so they can't get to the water bowl. 
and because of that they've dug up all the sawdust into the wheel and up around the wheel so the wheel ain't budging it and going nowhere they can't even get in the damn wheel so I had to do it redo all that and then so I'm gonna have to make the leg extend the legs to the bottom of the box they can't dig underneath the towel don't drop so the water bottle stays where it is they can't dig the sawdust up into the wheel um, and also I need to get a peanut butter jar cut off the threaded part with the lid put the threaded part through I'm gonna make a hole in the cage put the threaded part through from from the ins from the inside out and then thread the lid on and that then um, I'll give them a little port so they can come out to get in their little running balls so they can run every evening they have about two or three hours each hamster uh, it's just it's funny and the kids absolutely love the hamsters they are awesome um, and I found out how to how one of the hamsters bites in the cage and I'll just blow the hamster and it just stops then it starts biting again and I blow it and it stops and it's really annoying it's like right behind my head where I'm where I sit and watch TV and you know and it's just annoying so I turned around and just flick, 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 flick the cage. And the hamster went mental. It started like attacking the, the cage. And then it did this weird maneuver, like Kung Fu. It put like two front leg, it put two front legs down, the other one down, tilted aside, and lifted the back one up as if it was gonna like a like a peeing dog. Like it was gonna pee. Maybe it might 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 was maybe maybe it's a, a maybe a urinate when they feel friend, I don't know. But then I did it again. He kept gnawing at that, gnawing at the cage, trying to get out. He, he's the, that hamster. She has a nightmare. So I turn around, and just tap, 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 tap. It went, ah, and then it went, and it puts his like a left rear leg up, like like cha, like it's doing some sort of kick. Like karate freaking kung fu hamster. Mental. That was quite funny. So yeah, I've been doing the hamster cages. I got a new drill press for my my my, my stepdad. Got a new. He's getting a new drill press um bench drill pedestal drill whatever you want to pillar drill whatever you want to call it and drill basically you pull the thing and it comes down and drills holes perfectly and nicely and when i make my knives out of uh, old files i will be able to stick the file down clamp it down bring that drill press down nice and straight and a bit of oil on there or whatever fantastic so because i always had hand drills i've never had one of them pedestal drills and it's just it's such a cool thing to have, so I'll be able to make really cool stuff now. And these things that I make, um, obviously got the black, so both threads on there, and the needles and the buttons inside. Well, that was drilled by hand, and it's 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 pretty tight. I mean, but I can get them spot on because sometimes if the hole's not, if that that can be straight, obviously because it's done on a lathe, but this part drilling that hole as you can see it's thicker on this side than here a little bit well, actually actually that's not too bad but anyway um, and then when you put it on it's not flush you have to turn it to make it flush sometimes and it's really frustrating because uh, you want it to be spot on so with that drill press I can make it perfect plus when I put it in my vise when I put this in my vise it it crushes it and makes it oval not round so when you drill the hole Obviously, you're going to get two sides that have been pushed in are going to be thinner because they're closer to the drill bit. And these bits are going to be fatter because it's an oval. So at least I can drill that straight now. Drill holes and metal a lot easier, etc. An ugly watchtower. I will do. I think I will do little com do little co comic characters of maybe some witnesses I know. Um, Maybe draw them without item. I mean, my, my, my drawings are sort of like sometimes my drawings are good and sometimes my drawings are bad. You know, it's really, it's really strange in my my. And sometimes like my drawings change. I do different styles. Like this is an old one. This is a style I was doing. I did that with um some uh, pens, some fine tip pens. Just randomly make, making stuff up, sticking stuff together, trying different line techniques and bits and bobs and. Doing like I mean weird, just piddling about. I mean, some of you are looking. I think are like absolutely awful stuff. You know, some really terribly strange things. Intro, like Victorian type, trying to draw line type things. Some of my pictures are draw rubbish. I mean, you've got a little the sharpener 
a little sharp now. You know, I draw, I draw things off the top of my mind. I try not to talk, to draw anything as it's in front of me. Uh, not all, not a lot, you know. Um, a lot of stuff there, like a lot of Viking uh, writing stuff, which I was writing in the Viking language type thing in Elder Firthark because I just do like doing that and at that time I was uh, I wrote some of that when I was in the in the truth so it's a lot of angry swearing um, um, and the drawing and and doing the uh, Firthark keeps your mind occupied while you're writing it and you get fluent and I mean it's English it's in English the letters are written in English words but it's using it's replacing the alphabet English alphabet with the Elder Firthark um, which is a cool thing to learn um, and you see I more, did some Morse code on there because I, I learned the Morse code, Morse code alphabet although I'm not very I'm not sufficient enough at Morse code to pick up I'm not sufficient enough at Morse code to pick up the the sound um, and know it without writing it down if I write a Morse code down I can then decipher it um, it's weird stuff like that just weird and I like drawing them as well I like drawing mandalas. This is like one of my early ones. Practicing like shading and stuff like that. You drew a robin. Draw, uh, never finished it. I do that a lot. I draw a picture. I just don't feel it. I just don't draw it. I don't carry it. Don't carry it on. Um, off the top of my head, just stuff. I'm not copied off, that's what I could remember of Darth Vader. Um, some weird things. What I would do is I'd go on Facebook and people would sell things on the marketplace and I'd take their picture of the item they're selling, I'd draw on my pictures and then I'd add it into their um, picture and send it back and see if I got any comments just for a laugh when I was bored and um, when I was ill. I did that a lot. Um, I don't know if you know who that is. Little pencil, pencil sketch. Yeah, so you can see, like, some of the pictures are absolutely crap, and some of them are all right, you know. I like drawing all sorts of things. I like doing all this sort of stuff. That is fantastic. Look on YouTube how to draw this, um, do all this sort of stuff. It's way easier than you think, and you don't need no rulers or anything. That that stuff there, just you just sit there and do it. You don't need a ruler. Um, that these patterns are nice as well. Um, a Victorian. Um, wallpaper sort of design um, my wife is Marie has done a, a course at the moment online course of about Victorians um, Victorian media or something how, the, how they filmed and how it came about it's very quite in-depth as she's doing that course um, Marie's well into Victorian stuff so um, yeah more of that it's all based on the same principle, but you put brake lines in some places and stuff, and you can change it. Honestly, it's so easy. It's so cool. I'm doing a tree of life there. I'm trying to find the mandala things I do. There's another anime character I drew. Oh, I'm on a different book, and I. Where's my mandalas? See, these are the ones I was doing on Facebook. You can see that like, half finished. They'd be peeking over things and being scared of things, or sitting in a sitting in a that one was sitting in a bin cupboard. Someone was selling uh, some mice that I had. Someone, you know, just made all these things up. It's all good fun. Some things I make up when I go along. You know, I mean, like that. I drew it and sort of do the face. I was doing I was doing neck anatomy in my other books, and I just did that, and then I just sort of worked my way up. And the head was a bit plain. I was like, okay, I'll stick a dude in there. Uh, Weird. That one, I actually got the Mars logo and put that in there and put it in a park. I can't remember why I did that, but I was having fun. Some of them. Anyway, yeah, so comic-wise, cartoonists and stuff. I mean, I don't know. I'm not great at cartoons of people, but I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm sure I will. It's a good idea. Good idea. Um... Just a thought about my feelings at the moment. So you help the videos cheer me up, you see. You can see now. I'm a bit I feel a bit better. I've got to have a shave, I've got to have a shower. Um 
and get some grub down me. Um, I've got pygmy memory up again, not far from now. Um, someone commented yesterday that my laugh at the end of the video was funny and someone said it disturbed them, but don't fall out people. We all know what we mean. No one's like, you know, yeah, I was smiling about my video that I talked about today when I was yesterday. I thought, yeah. Anyway, it's all good. One comment though was um, the initials are EM and basically I'm pretty sure that's the uh, initials of the, the comment. I hope I didn't get that mixed up with someone else. Um, no, I didn't. Here's EM, I'm sure. And it says about the um, child abuse and the video and the uh, assembly they had about child abuse and people waiting outside. It was not a nice experience. Uh, quite shocking to see so many people walk out of an assembly when they're talking about child abuse, obviously because they've been affected by it. And there was a lot of people. That is very disturbing. I mean, if that doesn't tell you there's a problem, I don't know what does. But the person that commented said that they were a survivor. So I don't know what you've been through, but I'm sorry you had to go through that. It's not nice. I can only imagine. Although it's not the sort of thing you want to imagine. Although I've had my family where some members of my family were uh, abused. Um, so, yeah. I think the comments I get about people sticking up for the paedophile and saying that I did the wrong thing. I should have stayed with Jehovah, who never sorts anything out. Um... I think that, you know, they're so far brainwashed and a lot of them, they haven't got children or they don't know someone who's been through that or they don't know the effects of the child abuse. It's like they just think, hey, you know what? Just let them touch your kids. You're going to get everlasting life and they'll forget about it. No. It's, it, it's, it, it's, so, it's so twisted and disturbed. The fact that people think... Or can even stick up for that, for what happened to me. And the thing is, if I'd have stayed through lockdown, going to listen, we would, me and my children would have had to listen on the link to all the meetings and listen to the paedophile afterwards, whilst being told that a scripture about Lot sacrificing his daughters in the way that I sacrificed my kids. You know, I should. I don't know if he was saying that. You know, I should, that's one of the things I thought. Maybe he was saying you sacrifice. You know, part of your spiritual food or whatever for this pedophile. Um, this four children are crying and, and and absolutely heartbroken that they can't join in on the Zoom with their aunties and uncles. Um. For the sake of one man, when they could have just asked him, "Can you go on the link, and so they can be on the video?" But that—that's logical, isn't it? But hey, if I'd have stayed, if we'd have stayed, I have no idea. We we wouldn't have stayed. We were we were so felt so shit, felt that way that we just thought there it at that time. I weren't even thinking, do I believe it anymore or anything? I was just solely thinking of here now and my feelings and my kids and what we're going through. I don't care if there's a paradise. I don't care if it was true. This is my thoughts at the time. I know it's not. I don't know it's bullshit now. Um, but you think, do you know what? I just can't do this now. This is disgusting. You're telling me that I'm part of God's organisation. I'm being put through this and I have to suffer this for one man. And then listen to him laughing and joking online, enjoying himself when there's a family so downtrodden. Yeah, if I'd have stayed in, well, I hate to imagine what would have happened. I mean, I, in my mind, I just picture black, just pure darkness 
um, if I'd have stayed in. That is just no life for anyone. There was no compassion and there's no thought for anyone's feelings. Um, it's follow this book the way we interpret it, blah, blah, blah. It's messed up. So, yeah, the, the comment from EM was quite, um, I mean, I read it early hours in the morning, I think. I think it was this morning, or early hours, I say early hours, it was five o'clock. Um, four or five o'clock, and I just thought, if you haven't been through it, you, 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 you can have a guess at these things. Or you might know some parts of it, but that comment was just like, wow. It is it is it's beyond any word I can think of that anyone's had to go through that. And and then and then and then been tread that way afterwards and made to feel the way they feel through so many different aspects. Oh man. I mean, it's not a depressing cot. I mean, it's, it, it is. It is in a way, but it made. It didn't make me feel like that. It made me just feel like, wow, this that is terrible. I mean, for an innocent person to go through that, and you're telling me that's God's organization. If you've ever seen the um, Amazon program. American gods, where people's if 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 someone believes in a god, it exists. Well, if 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 I'd love to see on that series, if they did a series three, if they put the Jehovah God on there, and um, and he had testicles, so they could actually peel them and make him eat them and punch him and destroy him, and just how can you believe in a god like that? See, when you when you turn it into that. I picture you picture what they teach Satan is even worse. So yeah, it's not cool. Yeah. I can just see across the road from me the woman, the cleaners cleaning the windows. She takes a long time doing it because she doesn't use a squeegee and do it properly, but it does a good job. But I do hate people spending a lot of time on something when there's a quicker way. Maybe one day, do you know what I'm just gonna go up there and say, look. Just, you go in and have a cup of tea. I'll clean your windows for free. <laughs> um, anyway, I just thought I'd do this video. Um, yeah, I haven't had a shave. I remember one meeting. I missed a shave. And it was a little bit of stubble. I was up on the platform, setting the mics up and everything. And an elder just was up there with me and we was talking. And then he just sort of stopped talking. That, and then, then he goes... Like that, and I went, oh yeah, no, I said I didn't have, you know, I, I forgot, I didn't have time, whatever. And he said no more. But seriously, I've come to the hall, after work, I've got showered, changed, I'm fucking knackered. I've forgotten to have a shave. And you do that to me. I got four, I'm here with four kids. Stick it up your ass. It's just not good at all. My jaw started clicking because of my tooth. I'm eating on this side. My jaw started crunching. TMJ, I apparently pointed to Google, but I don't know. So I started chewing gum on that side of the back to try and counter it. I enjoy all your comments. And um, those who are trying to get me angry or put hate on me, you can have it back because I don't 